Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less talk. Disclaimer. I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. These are my opinions. And it's just that. Okay, so today what we are going to be discussing in this segment is Eminem. Okay, we're going to be talking about his latest album. And we got some Erica Mena. Yes, and we got a couple of some Billboard chart, you know, announcements, and we got Blueface's dad. Cloud chasing, as usual, but we're going to get into some stuff, okay, y'all? So please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell, okay? But let's get into it. Okay, so Eminem, okay, his latest album, okay, The Death of Slim Shady dropped. When I tell you, when I tell you, I'm going to get into it in a little while. But we're going to get into some comments. We're going to get into a lot of things, even some lyrics, okay, for some of the songs that he got on the album. I'm going to let y'all know this right now. I like the whole album. He has 20 songs. He got a couple skits that aren't fully songs, so those really don't count. But majority of the songs that's on it, I like it, okay? Now, this is just my opinion on the album. I like the album, okay? When I tell you he is disrespectful, you got the one, you got the Slim Shady that cares. He got a couple songs um, dedicated to his daughters. We also got him, you know, coming at people, name dropping, and it's a whole bunch of disrespectful stuff. And I like Eminem because freedom of speech. You can say however you feel. You can say whatever you want for, without everybody getting their panties in a bunch, okay? If it don't apply, let it fly, that's just how I feel. So a lot of people are a little bit upset about this, some of the things that they're saying that he's insensitive, et cetera, et cetera. But he knew exactly what he was doing when he put this album out. So I'm pretty sure he does not care. So let's get into some of the things. Okay, so Eminem really just dropped the hardest Diddy Diz bar we've probably ever heard. Layers on layers. I want to see these other rappers to match this Diddy Diz. I'm like a R-A-P-E-R. -E Got so many essays essays wait he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a p diddy <laughs> eminem dissed kendrick lamar and his new album were y'all even listening bro now just travel inside the mind of a hater because i don't see no fans all i see is a bunch of complainers kendrick album was cool but it didn't have any bangers wayne's album or yees couldn't tell you which one was lamer jo joiner's album was corny shady as new sh is even worse so he even put himself in there you know this is basically what people are saying maybe i'm thinking i don't know um i'm like a r-a-p-e-r -E got so many essays wait he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out p diddy rest in peace rest in peace biggie and Pac. both of y'all should be living but i ain't trying to beef with him because he might put a hit on me like keefy d did him and that's the only way you're gonna be unaliving me then he put eminem fuel so that is from the song fuel off his latest album call this sex ed with a splash of necrophilia because when i say that i'm really the evilest i'm freaking dead ass i'm freaking dead ass maybe what i need now more than likely is a psyche valve hmm what y'all think and candace oh i ain't mad at her i ain't gonna throw the fact Itch forgot she was black back at her. Laugh at her like them crackers. She's back and after her back is turned. Bars. Um, I'm a cute MAGA hat with a brand new White Lives Matter shirt. Or say this MAGA dirt bag in a skirt. Just open the biggest can of worms on the whole planet Earth. I don't know if I'm saying MAGA, MAGA, whatever, right, correctly. But y'all understand what I'm saying. Um, Eminem, Slim Shady, Marshall Matters, and B. Rabbit cooked on this new album. Yes, he had all of his different personalities coming out arguing with each other. Um, if you didn't grow up with old Eminem being a kid, teenager, when Slim Shady LP and Marshall Matters LP dropped, you just don't understand why we all love this album, okay? This is basically what they're saying. If you don't know Eminem, you're not gonna like this album, period. Um, Eminem having an argument with Slim Shady and Marshall Matters on Trouble. What the F? So some people is really paying attention, okay? Um, Eminem's The Death of Slim Shady. 
okay, it has reached number one on U.S. iTunes. Okay, so you already know people in the numbers and the charts is going to start start now. Um, 10 out of 10, I think I'm liking Evil the most right now. That or the intro track. W, bro, phenomenal song. So we're going to get into a rating, okay? Nine, and I couldn't even begin to say my favorite song yet. Like I said, we're going, we are in ratings. Nine out of 10, Guilty Conscience 2 is my favorite. Toby is the worst. Eight out of 10, but the more times I listen to the songs, the better it gets. Fuel is my favorite, followed by Antichrist and Toby. Fuel, first playthrough, eight out of 10. Definitely a 10, absolutely no skips. Nine, I want some Superman Slim Shady type of song. Eight. Evil is my favorite. So the question was, out of 0 to a 10, what you give it? And what is your favorite song? Um, 8 out of 10. Fuel, Somebody Saves Me, Evil, Lucifer, Toby. 9 out of 10. Guilty Conscious 2, Lucifer, Evil. A 0. 11 out of 10. Broke the scale for me. I give it a 10. I'll be listening to this for a while. It's a tie between Habits and Fuel. This person gives a 4. Okay. Um, had a listen. It's a steady 8.5 to the 9 for me. Eminem, nice work, dude. 10 out of 10. Out of an album and a concept. 10 out of 10. Guilty Conscience 2. Okay, so, you know, let's get a little bit more. Um, 10. Habits. 10. I think Habits is my favorite so far. 7. I love it. I found it great. 9 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. Need a little bit more time to pick a favorite. Um, 10 out of 10, easy, easy song and a banger. And this person says 10 out of 10, man. So it's getting a lot of good, um, ratings. 10, I mean, 7 out of 10, a 9, a 10, a 10, a, a 9.7, wow, a 8 out of 10, fuel. Eminem is 51 years old and seriously hasn't lost a step. And this is from XXL Magazine, Okay. Crying to Eminem's new album was not something I thought I'd do today, but holy freak, was robbing to the music until Temporary came on, and I just started crying, holy freak. Such a beautiful song, okay? And I think that was one of the dedications to his daughter and his life. He talked about some things. Now, with the album, like I said, he has songs that he dedicated to his daughters. He also talks about his drug addiction, overpowering like overcoming that the struggles he had to go through being away from his family his daughters and you know a lot of stuff that's on the album it's not just him disrespecting and name dropping which he did and everybody assumes that he has to do that in order to be you know heard but he's eminem like y'all not gonna take away eminem flowers that's not what we gonna do okay he said what he said in the album, and that's just what it is. Now we're going to have to see if where the album is going to go. He has Houdini that's on the album, and that's just one song, and that went already on the charts. That is climbing up still. So let's just see how this is going to play out, and when we get the chart and the data and everything else, then we'll come back and talk about it. Erica Mena, okay? Now we know her and Safari is not no longer together. They're trying to co-parent. But she comes on the internet and she is trying to expose Safari as a father, posting things about her kids and how they look and what she's not, you know, accepting, etc., etc. So her kids look like this. She posted this up. I guess Safari had them on his story. This is how they was looking, okay? And he says, I like this rugged look on him, okay? So this is Safari's story, right? He's posting with his kids. He's with his kids. Now, Erica says... Sis, then at Safari, you finally decide to babysit your kids Saturday, and by Monday, you're calling yourself putting them in summer camp. You know I pay $2,700 a month for their education alone. That's all year around. You know how I am about keeping their minds stimulated. You know I'm big on them having a routine. If you was going to take them to just only put them somewhere random, why not bring them to the school you helped me pick out? But don't pay for it but really you barely see them as it is and it's summertime why aren't you indulging in your kids and you never really see even though you live 30 minutes away why can't they be dressed and groomed properly when they are with you okay i mean i understand where she's coming from for okay you got your kids why are you putting them in um summer camp you're supposed to have them for the summer what it defeats the purpose you're supposed to be spending time with your kids for all of that my kids could have stayed with me and you could just visit them 
Do you understand? I understand where she coming from, and everybody is just like, you know, they have different opinions on it, and I'm here with like for her with that. But the grooming situation, we're gonna get into a little bit of deep depth on that because she talks more on that topic. She does not agree with how he had them looking in his stories, okay, for her as a parent, okay, seeing that. So let's get into it. I've really been sparing you for so long, but enough is enough. You love social media attention, so here it is. You already go months at a time, if not seeing these babies by choice. You went two months this last go-round. You finally pop up at Legend's birthday empty-handed and never offering to pay half of anything like always. You come for your quick once-every-few-months photo opportunity with them and bounce. You finally decided to get them this past Saturday. Legend came there with his hair braided already. Clearly, it needed to be taken out. But me just assuming since um the so-called auntie and grandma was in town, my baby would be good, right? Um, how is it no one thought to take my baby braids out and wash his hair, especially since he was in and out a chlorine pool? Sis, he added, she added Safari again. You have no problem making sure you a bad itch all the time. Why can't my babies be dressed and groomed properly like you do for you when you have them? A part of being a bad itch is really taking care of your kids. So this is where I draw the line. You know I can't go on for days with all of the spiteful shit you don't do for your kids just because you think it's a way to hurt me but not grooming and properly dressing your kids every time you have them it's just honestly despicable all right i already been having um to eat sh how you purposely dress my kids so sloppy and cheap because you know that's the one thing i take pride in outside of their education you literally do nothing for them outside of cs you don't pay for school, you don't pay for health care, but yet you claim you sell it. Their activities, you don't do anything to chip in to help for their birthdays. You literally skipped out on Christmas and Safari's birthday all together this year. What you could at least do when you do have them is take pride in that and actually um, put some effort. You got all this money so you tell the world and you got all of these diamonds but yet why is it when you have your kids they walking around looking like this? Did grandma and auntie not feel the need to grab a comb for your baby's sis? Okay my thing is this you already sent the kids over there with old hair okay if you know and this is how safari is and this is not the first time that he have your kids looking like this why wouldn't you make sure that your kids hair is done? Why would you even like I don't know. I don't know. You can't force Safari to do what you want him to do. And if he's not doing these things and, it, and he's barely around, why are you even dealing with him, to be honest with you? You're calling him a Debbie dad. So why are you going on the Internet and putting out your whole business out there trying to bash him when you looking like a dummy, too? I wouldn't even have to deal with that if he's barely spending time with them. He doesn't groom them or keep them up when he when they're with him. Why are you sending them over there? Like, I just don't get it. Do I have a court a court order or something? Maybe that's what the case is. I don't know. But I don't know. But I understand where she's coming from. She wants them to look right because he's looking right. You're not out here looking like, oh, whatever. You know? You out here fresh cut, fresh fit. You got name brand clothes on. You're looking um well and everything else. Everything's done over there. Fresh sneakers, everything. And then your kids looking like what they looking like. They looking like kids. That's how I feel. I feel like they just looking like kids. They're going to be playing around. They're going to be messy. They're going to be, their hair is not going to stay like that forever. So I just feel like sometimes she's just exaggerating. Kids are going to be kids, okay? Now, if he doesn't give them baths and keep them up to date like that and keep them clean and stuff like that, then okay. He not buying no clothes when um when they're over there and really doing things for them, then yeah, I understand that. But she's mainly making it seem as if the appearance is really a main priority along with education. And to me, that's crazy because they're little kids. They're going to get messed up. I don't know. They're not going out anywhere fancy anything for them to be dressed up like. I just don't get it. I get it, but I don't get it. Somebody said it's too hot outside for this. Sounds personal. If you know your man ain't nothing, why you sent them over there with an old hairstyle? So you could prove a point. This is the comments. Let's get into some comments. She right. Dress them babies and fix their hair just like you do yourself. How can a man be walking around looking all clean and not your kids looking a mess? 
You sent them over there. Hair couldn't have been much better. That don't happen in a few days, babes. <clears throat> they look like freaking kids. Girl, enough already. Stop crying to social media and do what you have to do for those babies. Regardless of what he got going on, like regular women have to do every day, let that hurt go, sis. So some people were just saying, girl, you just bitter. You just probably want safari. Um, girl, those are children. Calm that cat down. No shade, but if she's an un if he's an unfit dad, that was on you truthfully, cause choose wisely. But like just stop relying on him to be a dad and crying on social media about it. There are amazing stepfathers out there that will make a that make you forget about a safari. Hmm. Um, girl, shut the F up and just do your part. This is, um, annoying. Not the only one with a, um, <clears throat> ain't nothing baby daddy. And these posts ain't finna change a guy. They dress like kids, Erica. This chicken is tripping as usual. So some people's like, girl, they're, they're kids. They gonna, they gonna get messed up. They dress like kids. Like, what do you want? I'm assuming because they are celebrities with the money and the fame and the image that she wants to make sure that her kids are also looking just as right as the mother and the father. And I feel like that's nothing wrong with that because you're you're making yourself look cute and good and up and, you know, and it's only right for your kids to just look the same. Okay, they're not regular folk out here and everybody, you know, we could just throw on a sweatpants and a shirt or whatever. We could just throw on some shorts and a shirt and some Crocs on our kids and they'll be fine. Okay, hair be two weeks old and we know we got to do it. It is what it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Life is lifing. Okay, so Erica, just stop being bitter and going on the internet and just doing the whole thing, trying to bash this man. Well, you know this man is a deadbeat. This is all you do. You go online and cry about it and everybody already see it and heard about it. And you're still doing the same thing. So what the hell do you want the internet to do? We're going to talk about it. Okay, so we got updates. Okay. So what we're going to be talking about in these updates is Billboard charting. The female rapper is currently on the Billboard chart. Now, I know y'all might going to be feeling some type of way when I say what I'm about to say, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's get into it. Glorilla, number 22 with Wannabe, number 31 with Year Glow, and number 28, her latest song, TGIF, on the Billboard Hot 100. Okay, so she's up there, and you see the green arrows. It's still possibility of it going more up. Megan the Stallion, number 67, Ataku Hot Girl. Number 77, Where Them Girls At. Number 68, Mamushi. These are all her latest songs on her album. And these are new entries. So we don't know if it's going to go up. We don't know if it's going to go down. But she is in the top 100. JT with her one song, okay. She's at a re entry at number 72. Sexy Red, number 66 and number 40. You my everything and get it sexy. Green arrows meaning it still can go up. Okay, so we're getting into some of the female rappers that's currently on the top 100 Billboard chart. There's literally no other female rapper on the Billboard chart. And I'm only going by the charts because that's what a lot of people base a lot of things off is charts and numbers and everything else. Okay, they're not going by... What you feel is good and what you feel is not. They going by numbers, okay? Cardi B is not up there. Nicki Minaj is not up there. Doja Cat is not up there. Flo Millie's not up there. Um, Lotto's not up there. Um, it's a lot of girl. Ice Spice is not up there, okay? It's a lot of people, female rappers, that's not on the top 100 charts right now. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Oh, okay. And I'm just saying... Okay, I know y'all gonna be like, well, Nikki don't need it. She Nikki Minaj and she is sold out tour and this and this and that. It doesn't even matter because the Barb's is scrambling on Twitter right now to try to make sure that her album goes number one because they seen the other girlies albums is rising um, or talked about um, and songs that this is the reason why they're trying to do that. So she could be up on the charts and people act like, oh, the charts don't matter. It do matter if y'all is really going that hard to Make sure your fave is up in them charts, in them numbers. Last but not least, we got Blueface's dad. Now, he's playing Kendrick Lamar, not like us. Look, look. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun like us. Dun -dun like us. And he's just really sitting there on his piano playing Kendrick Lamar, fake playing the... Like, we see that you're not pressing the button, sir. 
Like, he just do anything for clout. Good evening, y'all. On top of the PM, sitting over here hoping and praying that they release my son in the next 20 days with time served. So for all you blue face fans, please keep him in your prayer. I also praying that Krishan gets released the same day that he does so that everybody can have a new start. Boy, shut your ass up. We ain't even never heard of you, blue face dad, until you... Until Carlos and everybody started talking about you and everybody started finding out who the hell Blueface Dad was. And here you come in the picture. You ain't never been in the picture. And I've been following Blueface and his whole story for a while now. And your ass ain't never been involved like this. But, Cloud Chasing Demon. Okay. But anyways. So, according to Blueface's dad, July 29th. And July 29th is my birthday, y'all. Woo-wee. Yeah. But anyways, um... This is the court document right here. His next court date is on the 29th of this month. But we are not, you know, we don't know. He's supposed to have been um, let out in the beginning of this month, okay? It's already the 11th or 12th right now. So we shall see how this is going to go. And he told about some. oh, I hope Krishan come out the same time. She has to finish her 30 days, okay? And then I thought she was supposed to get transferred to Oklahoma to deal with that case and, and those um, consequences. I don't know, but we shall see how everything goes. And we're going to see if Blue... F I really hope that Blueface come out before Krishan because I want to see how he's going to act now that she's in jail and she was over there trying to pour her whole heart out, talking about some uh, relationship and all this damn positivity and all the change that was going to happen between them and how she was holding him down and paying bills and everything else and just, you know, all doing that. He never claimed the baby or really was trying to be a dad. That's crazy to me. So I really want to see how Blueface is going to act when she's in jail and he has to be out. Will he get the baby? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about that? Okay, so quick recap. <clears throat> um, the Eminem, like I said, let me know down in the comments below. If you heard Eminem's latest album, can you please let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite album? I mean, what is your favorite track on the album okay but anyway i love y'all and if you have anything that y'all want me to talk about hit up my instagram only toxic t lounge y'all already know i got y'all and until then to the loose bye bye Ooh, shawty, you try boys getting filled with entitlement why would you tell me those lies why